Oh yeah, Shangri La. Should we do a save? Uh, yeah, may as well just because it was uh, it was crashing, not crashing. Doing a little bit of a freezy boy, and we don't want to be a freezy boy all over the. Uh... Yeah, okay. Oh, seventy five percent. Seventy five percent. Would you look at that? That's some spicy percentage. I'm How much have we got left? Twenty five percent. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> what did you mean? I mean, like, how many levels, levels. have we got left? Uh, I'd say like six, and a boss or two. I love when it has the opening cutscenes where usually there's monkeys and there's just nothing there. Yeah. No, no, we're, we're done here. Okay, so, so there's how many nothing are there around in this here. Level? Uh, I think it said nine. Yeah, so that's that's not too bad. I think there there's obviously the four inside the the wall, and then there's a place that will have other stuff. I don't remember how much we did and how much we didn't do, to be fair. I think we did the majority of this level. I think there's not that much in it. Yeah, it's probably. one of those levels where you sort of explore everything, but there are just some stuff that's, that are hidden. Mm. Well, we shall find it. It will be it's, our new task. It's not like the toy level where, like, oh, I think that must be something. No, it's not, unfortunately. Um, oh, it's not... I just remembered, like, the major city level, the Rusty Bucket Bay 2.0. That was a cool level. <laughs> yes, it was. I'm looking forward to going back there. I like that one. So, this game has really good levels. It it's is pretty cool. Actually, I'm assuming right now we can start to look at whether any new comments are coming for the new part, new episode. Uh, no, there is no new episode today. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess we can't do that live. No, now. no, sorry. It's uh, today is a demo for a Kickstarter game. Um, Ooh. Um, it's a bit like a Binding of Isaac uh, type game um Th that really dates this recording session it does you're right it's uh it's it's august 6th um <laughs> uh, <laughs> i dated it more um oh, tomorrow comes tomorrow's the um an, an event on an event in 14 and i'm looking forward to it oh yeah uh, i've just i've just got started on the so as we said last time like Shadowbringers, the one of the expansions has got like you know it's the highest rated Final Fantasy game in the last 12 years. Mm. And but I finally got to it after like, you know, months of basically, months of like playing the game a little, but like a decent amount to get there. And I just can't wait. I just got to it this bef just before the recording session. I was like, ah, oh, gonna have to wait, but there's an event coming out. So I'm gonna have to do the event first as well, but not get started until all that's done. Nice. I can't wait. It's like I've got, to, it's, it's like a bit, apparently um, there's a big collaboration coming with the, with Yoko Taro in it as well. Yoko Taro. Oh, yeah. So like he's awesome. got loads of there's some near stuff in it and there's like oh, a big 24 cool. man near raid. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Which I'm really looking forward to. I think this is the most hyped I've seen you like really talk about in gaming for quite some time. Like yeah, just ge generally anything 14, not specifically this event. It's it's odd. It it, it is in a way because Oh. I get the get the blocks out. What the fuck? Is she where are I mean, they? Oh, it's through there. I was going to say, I can't even see them. But I was going to say, there's a bit of uh, rimming going on there. The fish. Charmy. I love the way the fish goes with it and we don't separate them. Yeah, yeah, we, we got dinner. <laughs> yep, her pet fish we've now killed. Kind of sad though, when you take... Like, a lot of these monkeys are, like, developed... This is the sort of... This is the um, equivalent to Peter getting involved with this game. But, like, there is a, like... I can't believe I'm going to do this. Uh huh. There yeah. is a like weird ethical consideration. These monkeys, like, they're all mischievous and stuff, but they have developed their own little personalities, and like, they are they are recognised they're in danger, right? So if you're talking about what makes somebody, um, like, what defines someone having not a soul, what do they call it? Someone's conscious. Mm hmm. Not conscious. It's um, yeah, like self. They're they're self-aware, and they understand when their life's in danger. So like, yeah, I don't know. You see what I'm getting at? Y yes, yes. And we're like just picking them up and sending them back to have the helmet removed and turned back into monkeys that will, that, well, apes, I guess, because it's different to monkeys. It's just a weird one. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, suck on it, Peter. <laughs> You're getting yourself slashed. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's still fine. It's... ish. 
I can't believe... I mean, to be honest, those blades probably wouldn't cause too much damage. I, I, it depends on how sharp they are. Yeah, but they're not moving that fast, and they are underwater, so... Where have I not been? Oh, I know where you've not been. You just keep heading this direction, you get to a couple, some sort of wooden stairs that lead out of, this, out of this area. That's where you were halfway through last time. Ah, uh, okay. Got it. Just want to make sure Shit. I haven't missed anything up here. I could remember that, but I couldn't remember like something very obvious a couple of de like minutes ago. Ah, uh, yes, I see. Yeah, yeah, I recall. Yeah, yeah. That little bit always reminds me of Destiny Island. Hmm. I saw the two, what you mean. the two palm trees and that um and the bit in the water. I think you uh you like Jersey for that reason, to be honest. Oh no, I'm I'm super looking forward to it now. Now like the now like a huge part of August is like well, August and stuff is out of the way. It gives me some time to like um yeah just start looking at what I want to do when I come to Jersey, which I'm I'm pretty stoked about. Yeah, I also need to talk to you about food to get in and stuff, like what you, what stuff you prefer. How about we do this on camera? What cereal do you like? What do you, what do you um, want to buy? I'm not usually, so I'm not usually a breakfastman, but mainly because of, um, I, when I was at school, um, I had like pretty fun anxiety, and so in the mornings I wouldn't eat because I was so anxious. Oh really? And then I, st and so, wow. I so that's what that's what stopped me eating breakfast. Um, it was basically in year seven and eight. I had like fairly big anxiety problems. Year nine and ten, it wasn't as bad. Many reserved for things outside of school, but some in school. And then like it got bad, really bad at uni for a little bit, and then got fired. And then just like come, it just it just comes back every time. Stuff happened. Okay. But well, can recommend breakfast. It's good for the day. It is good but... for the day, but I still don't bother with it because I've just not got in the habit. I tend to get up like fifteen minutes before I need to leave the house. Uh... Um, but I usually like things like um, ooh, so the. Crunch nut clusters are quite nice. The okay. chocolate ones. I don't particularly fan of the chocolate, but like um, also cinnamon crunch or cinnamon, whatever they're called now. Curiously, cinnamon are quite nice. I see. Well, uh, well at, at some point we will. I will make a proper list of this, and I will get. Well, you it's, it's easy. I can you, stuff you want. I'm arriving on the Sunday, so the shops will be closed by the time yeah, I arrive. No, I'll buy you. I'll buy you stuff for fun. I, make, I will make sure I, I will make sure that you are in a wonderful welcoming environment. Um, and I'm fine with buying myself something. I don't want. I, I know no. the, cereals, the cereals I fucking out. The cereals I choose to buy often aren't the cheapest on the going. Fair enough. I might actually try and get it. But um, I just have I Rice Krispies. <laughs> See, boring. I, Rice Krispies are okay, but like very sometimes bland. they're very bland. They don't taste. I tend to fish. drench them in sugar, and then I'm thinking I may as well just yeah. be eating something. I used to do that. I, uh, I used to do that, and uh, and then I realised that I, it was just not really healthy. Um, no, not at all. Uh, so I actually, I love Frosties for the exact same reason. A really, really nice sugar gets me in the mood. But I, I, I only have Frosties if I'm doing some, like, voice work, because you, any sort of, like, dairy uh, ruins and clogs up the throat a little bit. Um, so you want to try and well, not do that. Um, so uh, I have Frosties without milk, and that's my breakfast. Um, you know I, what else? When I'm doing that. I, I've got to say one thing about that story. Mm -hmm. They're going to taste great. <laughs> They're going to be great. Um, I can. You're supposed to get on the roof, by the way. Yeah, I don't know how to. You've get done it before. Across. There's a in what in some area. There's like a ladder. There's a pole right there. Yeah, there's right a there. pole here, but I don't know how to get to the other side. Uh, you have to go all the way around. It You'll find look like out. You can reach it though, but oh. you can. Well, you can't reach it, but you got to do something else. So there's a big oh, lever. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah. I see. I see it. I was gonna say, is it is it a bit cold over there? In terms of like, so it is a breakfast. I used to have like grapefruit, but that made my stomach even worse when I was a kid. So it's just, it, if I tend to have it, which isn't very often, I'll tend to... I think no. you can make it now. Yeah, probably, but I'll just not take chances. I'll not take chances, so I'll slot it literally as far in as I can get it. Yep. Correct. Yay! There we go. That was a nice little puzzle. But yeah, other than that, like, I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge breakfast person. Sometimes if, it, if, if it's on offer, like, the full English is quite nice. 
Mm. Or um, a McDonald's sausage and egg McMuffin is also won't go amiss. Well, I mean, like we, the thing is, like, there's a couple of really nice uh, cafes that I think you would, or uh, that I think you'd really like to have lunch at and or breakfast. Um, yeah. Uh, there's a there's a place which looks like an upturned boat. Um, oh, nice! That sounds cool. It's it's, uh, it's very tasty. Um, they got some really nice uh, sandwiches there. Um, and uh, there's also a Gunsight Cafe, which uh, if we were to walk there, would take about an hour, but it's really nice food. It's a good walk. We can go on the beach. <laughs> yeah. An hour walk sounds like... Um, it depends on what temperature that walk is going to be in. Uh, honestly, probably around like 20 to 25. So Yeah, nice. no, I'm dead. Not nice, but not too hot. No, no, twenty walking around like that in twenty-three degrees heat is too hot for me. I am really. It's I'm not like, that bad. We I'm, haven't. So we a, have not because we're on the beach. We have a nice breeze. Yes, but there's a guy at the office who doesn't take his coat off unless it's like significantly warm, and I'm sat there like boiling in like you know short sleeves, short sleeve t-shirt and shorts, and he's like put his coats on, thinking oh it's a bit cold in here, and I'm like ah. <laughs> so I'm very sensitive to heat. But that's Fair also enough. because I've got a lot of body fat that, like, continues to keep me warm. I see. <laughs> I see. I see. I see. Well, we will work it out when we when the time arises. If it is too hot, we won't do that. Oh, that so that reminded me of something. It reminded me of some of like a villain's crazy speech. Was like, I see it. I, I see it all. I have no idea. It's got okay. a really shrill, high pitched voice, and I cannot remember what it's like. Okay. I am unsure of what you were referring to specifically, but... <gasps> I forgot about this! Yes! Lovely. It doesn't feel as good as it should do, though. It I'm felt sure great. It <laughs> Man, if you time it really well, you can really clean up, can't you? If you fuck off with this, and no, I was gonna say, you can... No! Okay. Oh! Whoa! Oh, that moved nice, really fast. Nice bit of speed up there. Yeah, that was bizarre. Is it this wall? This is why I had to basically give up on, um... A, like, li like, live recording the Xenosaga stuff, because, like... When you record it, like, directly within PCSX2, rather than screen capping it... Mm. It gets rid of all those speed-ups and startups, so it's just one hole. It's just, I like... See. And obviously... Yeah. It's not ideal. No, you end up with commentary track speeding up and slowing down compared yeah. to everything else. Well, it adds, adds some fun to the to the whole proceedings. I guess. It adds some fun to the editing session. God, I hate that. You you were the one who decided to make the the massive map. Oh no! Yeah, we don't we don't talk about that massive map. Oh. Did you make nice. an uwu noise then? Mr. Obama? Ooh. Oh, it's oh, so close. Um, there's this, um... Keanu oh, no Sleeves! <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, what? I don't understand though, like, this isn't John Wick. John Wick wasn't out at this point. He was known for the Matrix. He didn't have a fucking machine gun in the Matrix. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> I don't know. Have you seen um, like there's a you know cor digital corridor the guys who did like a load of like um popular videos a couple of years ago, um, um, like Superman and stuff. No. They did one where they basically took um. Um, John Wick and like replace some of the sound effects to make it like they basically take visual effects they think are crap and make them a bit better. Right, I see. They did this for John Wick, and they've made a video called um, Big Wick Energy, which is basically someone had like so everyone was doing a serious one, and this guy did a ridiculous edit that I'm going to have to show you in the, in the, the gap between episodes. Yes, please do. Because it's um, it's super fun. But the idea is it's like someone just goes takes what they're doing and just takes it over the top. I see. I see. How many levels are there left? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, only five. We don't have to. And, yeah, we don't have to Yeah, we could, you know. and we don't have to do this spectre because. So how many? Happens. How many monkeys have we actually got left to get then? Um. So we got seven, uh, nine, sixteen, seventeen, uh, twenty-eight, uh, thirty-eight, 
Uh, 44. It's not that many left. No. And, well, 45, because Spectre. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, and then That's... and then some special cheats that we'll have to put in at some point, but and, we won't be doing and, it. And time, time trial. Oh, yeah, time trial. Time trial, I'll take some time. And also, then, like, the the American version, um, and possibly seeing some of the differences in the male cutscenes. And also, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of this game. 